This build was recommended to me, and it's quite the interesting build. AG Mixture and Heavy Hitter. Both overclocks make their respective guns do something unique. AG Mixture allows the sludge pump to shoot at further ranges, letting you melt the skins of the bugs at a safe distance. And Heavy Hitter makes the normal shots of the EPC do insane damage, at the cost of ammo and heat being generated at incredible rates from normal shots. Both overclocks are great, but let's see how they'll do together. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Alrighty, oh fuck. Oh god damn dude, alright. Ah oh, hell yeah. Big ass cave. I always expect them to say something else after that line. Connect the pipelines to the pump jack, they said. It'll be easy, they said. I always expect them to say that, but they don't. You know, uh, thinking about it now, <laughs> so I've only streamed twice now. And so far, both times have been, you know, super fun. I actually really do enjoy streaming a whole hell of a lot. But I like how on Streamlabs, when like my I plug in my microphone and I have it all set up and everything, my expander just does not want to work at all for no reason, and I don't know why. When I first opened up Streamlabs, it downloaded my same settings from OBS because they're the same type of uh, company. So when I put on my settings or had it download my settings from OBS, it copied everything perfectly fine. But I think the expander is different on Streamlabs to OBS. But in my next, my my latest stream that I did for Dead Estate, I learned my lesson. I just put my microphone all the way away from me. I just said, you go over there. <laughs> it was my friend's birthday this week on the 9th and we got her amazing gifts. I don't know what my girlfriend got her. Um, she got her like this, like a little kit for like a, like a, I don't know, even know what it is. Basically all I, all I remember from what, holy shit, that's a big drop. Uh, all I remember from what uh, they told me was it was like a book, like a, like a miniature bookshelf set thing that you can like create the little tiny books with all the, the, the seals on them and everything. God damn it. Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> no, stop. No, <laughs> I cannot believe I just did that. And we also got her a Squishmallow since she loves Squishmallows. Uh, so we found a little, a little Squishmallow at Walmart and we got her one. Um, and then I bought her shirts. I bought her, I bought her three shirts off of this website. Holy shit. This is wrecking hard. Holy hell. Oh, God damn. Oh, damn. There's a meteor. Ah, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I know. So I got her three, three cool shirts and they're coming in, uh, very soon. At least I hope they are. Oh, there's a stink tail. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Shit, he's hitting the fan really fast. You. There's two! No. Stop. Stop. Uh, no. Actually, thank you. Thank you, Stinktail. Actually helps a whole hell of a lot. No, 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 no. Just get set on fire. Just get set on fire, guys. You son of a bitch. Die. <laughs> Stay away from me, please. <laughs> you. God damn! Heavy Hitter is insane. Holy shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> I gotta get my health back. Hold on. <laughs> oh. What the hell? I just got this health back, you son of a bitch. No, <laughs> that was totally gonna hit him too. Yeah, no. So that was really fun. We just stopped by her place after work and we gave her the, the gifts. Oh yeah, update on the, the guy who's making the, the Steve mod. He actually sent an image of what the Steve mods icons are going to look like and he sent me a video on what it'll look like too when you actually like get a Steve now. It has like a little like Steve has a little mining helmet on and uh, like a like a little like, I think it's called Glyphid's trophy uh, that, that helmet it gets put on Steve now and it looks so cool. And yeah, you have like a little icon in the bottom left above the, your health bar that shows you Steve's health. Which is really, really cool. I actually really like that a lot. Bro, bro has been working really, really hard on it. 
and it looks so good and I'm so excited for this mod before come on I saw I see you turning blue you son of a bitch <laughs> I see you turning blue there you go none actually is that a meteor hole it is nope all right oh okay yep I, I, I literally have been looking up this entire time. There has not been one cave leech. And then all of a sudden, there wants to be a motherfucking cave leech. Uh, of course. Of course. Bro is so high up, though. Holy hell. Oh, sorry, Lloyd. Oh, it does. Holy shit. <laughs> Get fucked, cave leech. This actually might kill me. That did kill me. God damn it. <laughs> How deep was this? Ah, man. There's actually three more down here. Holy shit. Okay. All right, cool. And then I'm going to assume that there's not another play cart here. Yep. I got to get a resupply fast. <laughs> heavy hitter is really good, but man, do you have like such little ammo? I'm actually surprised heavy hitter isn't an unstable overclock for like it being a balanced overclock. I'm surprised it's not an unstable with more debuffs. No. Oh my god. I also love that all the Bulu caps are just, you know, on the roof. That's great. <laughs> I do like that we're getting another Deep Rock game, Rogue Core. For anyone who's been wondering, yes, I do know that uh, Deep Rock is getting like, kind of like a spin-off game. It's called Rogue Core, which I like the idea. I actually like roguelike games. I don't necessarily like uh, Gunfire Reborn. Gunfire Reborn was fun for the first few bits, and then you realize, oh, it's just the like exact same enemies all the time, and that gets boring. That's why I kind of lost interest in Gunfire Reborn fast, but it's going to be kind of like that, like a first-person shooter roguelike game, which that is like sounds really, really fun. It seems like for season five, what they were going to do if Rogue Core wasn't happening is maybe in season five, we were going to get another class, like a new class with this like elite dwarf guy, the, the elites. And they would have added this new mineral called Exponite, maybe a new biome even as well like that. That sounds like it, it would have been really, really cool, but it probably just got way too big like the whole idea and then they just <laughs> I feel the skin away and then uh, it just turned into like this whole I'm out of ammo um, it just, just turned into this whole other game which completely understandable that's basically what happened to Hollow Knight Silk Song was Silk Song was originally supposed to just be a DLC for Hollow Knight and then it just got so big that the creators just decided to make it into its own game so yeah no I'm excited for Rogue Core even though it's gonna take like forever to come here, but you know what? Good things come to those who wait. Plus, this gives time to people who actually haven't completed the performance pass. Like, my friend Chad, he was saying that he actually now has time to actually do the performance pass and get all the cool stuff. So, that's cool. Oh, cool. Oh, that's cool and all, but where are all the Bulu caps? I'm not the scout, I'm the driller. Where are all the Bula caps? Unless I'm just blind. And I can't see all of them because they just blend in. Like, there's one clearly right there. There's another one right there. Those were the two that I saw that were in the walls. Oh, ah! yeah. uh, no. No! Okay, uh, I want to save. Ah, oh, man, I really want to save Lloyd's last revive. Damn. You know what I really should do? I should start it up right now. That sounds like a smart idea. <laughs> ah, this is why. I remember now. Ah, I remember now. That's why we don't start it up right away. We. Oh my god. Y'all be serious. Okay. <laughs> I gotta use the power of AG mixture. No, 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 no. <laughs> Set them all on fire. Okay, all of you get distracted by pipes. Damn, now I really do wish I had a Steve. 
Oh well. I love this mentality. Steal their skin and set them on fire. <laughs> That's basically what this build is. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be getting all the Bula caps, boys. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, have fun walking through that, guys. Yeah, have fun walking through all of that. Man, I this just makes me wonder how Goo Bomber Special would be with this, actually. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that just, that just, mm. mwah. Chef's kiss. Ooh, time to run. <laughs> Enjoy that. At least there's no detonator. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Look at that shit. Why? Why are they just in the roof up there? What's with all the bugs? What is, like, literally what's with all the bugs? Stop it. Is that a menace I just heard? Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Drop Pod, for helping me. Nope. You know, I didn't think to check behind these rocks. For the Bula Caps. Ooh. Is there ever a Drop Pod over here? Or, pff, Drop Pod Bula Cap over here? Ah, oh, man. I really feel bad for not completing the, the secondary. Uh... But at the same time, living sounds really good, too. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm just gonna leave. Bye, guys. Ah, uh, goddamn. Things did not go to according to plan. <laughs> uh, this is still a really fun build, though. Holy hell. I like the mentality behind this build. Steal their skin and set them on fire. <laughs> hell yeah. This is the right stuff. Oh, I snuck this loot bug on, on board. Don't tell anybody. Look at him go. <laughs>